What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Mikey Pipes, and welcome to Pipe Doctor Home Services of Central Florida. And beautiful, beautiful weather here. April 15th, 2024. Make sure you pay your taxes. This morning, we are in Winter Garden, heading to a project in Prairie Springs. Prairie, bleh. This morning, we're starting a project in Prairie Springs at Waterley. It's very nice, nice little tree-lined streets, people walking their dogs, beautiful palm trees with the, oh, look at that. That is, that shot, that shot's tits. Look at yes, that, that's beautiful. Shot. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Tom Bowfinger, my partner in crime. Good morning, good morning, folks. Today, Tom, we're doing something a little different. Yeah. We have a homeowner here that is, uh, she's a hairstylist, a cosmet cosmetologist, I believe it's called. I think she's I a think, hairstylist, I'm not sure. I think they're called cosmetology. Uh, I remember possibly, when I, I was in high that. school, back in the 90s, when, you know, people worked with their hands, right? You had shop, you had architecture, you had... Uh, carpentry. Carpentry, auto repair. Mm -hmm. And the women, we had home ec, home economics, where they yes, told you how to bake cakes and balance a checkbook. Yes. Remember yeah. those back back in the days? I remember these. Days, yes. These youths have no idea how to balance a checkbook now, but you also had cosmet cosmetology in high school. And the girls in school, you know, they would learn to do your hair and your nails and things like that, right? Yes, they would. So this, this customer here, homeowner, we're adding in a shampoo sink, yes. um, you know, to bring in a little extra cheddar. We're gonna show you. Today, we're starting the roughing of that. It's gonna be awesome. Smash that thumbs up in advance. And don't forget to subscribe. And there, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is that vehicle. There is that vehicle that that guy, that safe light driver, tried to give us a bad name, doing 60 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour school zone. Yep. Oh, effing retards over at safe. But ladies and gentlemen, we got some good news for you. This may be sold today. Thank God. The bank's taking a major loss, but at least we're getting rid of the debt to the business. We don't need this anymore. No, no bueno. It's a low roof. No I good. Right there. So we're putting a sink right here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come across mm -hmm. this wall. Mm -hmm. Outside. Oh. Outside. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I see there's a stack here. Is this a stack? No, it's just a drain. It's got a... Where is this going to? Underground. Oh, it goes there. And it goes... So what's this? What's this three-inch PVC? Right here. It's probably the stack. It's probably the stack there. Oh. I see we have some three-quarter expansion packs. Very nice. And we have a three-inch stack. You got the little air admittance valve up there. You have these horrible push-connect valves. A little P-trap there. Nice and clean. So the objective is take hot and cold here and drain and bring it over there. And look, I got a little coop with the shorts. Like It's like 100 degrees outside. <laughs> Hi, Cooper. Hi. What's the how to your mom? Yeah, no, not yet. Sure. We should get her to, to watch. Come and subscribe. <laughs> All right, so we are on the side of the house here. Here is that bathroom right here, and this is the location for that uh, hair washing sink right there. I was talking to Tom, you know, and asking how we plan on securing the two inch PVC to the wall. And the solution that they came up with was just putting it up against the wall like that. The problem with putting it up against the wall like that is when you make that long turn to go into the wall, you're gonna have to chop open a lot of that wall. So Tom and I want to pick up some Unistrut, also known as Kindoff, for the two inch PVC and for the half inch copper. We're running copper out here. It's gonna look really, 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 really nice. All right, so we're back. The shampoo sink's going right here. We're cutting in a three by two sand tee over there. Uh, we got a piece of two inch going through the outside wall. 
and then we have approximately 16, 18 feet from point A to point B. Let me show you how that is outside. All right, we finally drilled out a very thick block wall here on the left side of the house. We had to drill out the hole a little bit bigger to accommodate the hub of the fitting. That way when we put the unistrut here, there and there, we're gonna be up against the wall like that. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Pipe Doctor Central Florida. Today we had to add a drain and a hot and cold line for a customer. They have a special hair salon sink that's going in that room right there. Right there is the bathroom. Well, the only way that you can actually get a sink over there and there's no drain over there. So we had no option but to come out of the wall, run around down this way, right back into the, the bathroom right there. Got our lines coming out right there. We put uh, some uh, isolation shutoff valves in case if anything happens down the line from here over there to the sink, we can turn that guy off right there and that one. And then that way we can do whatever and then not have to worry about turning the water off to the house. Got everything nice and strapped up. Got a clean out right here as well. Right there, bada bing, bada boom. One actually behind the cabling. I'll show you what it looks like inside. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like coming on back in. Those are from our lines and drain from the outside right here. Studio vent. We'll go ahead for right now because I don't have the chair yet. So I'm gonna put, just put a cap right here and then we'll put our uh, you know trap adapter and all that good stuff. I put the lines off, you know, a little bit on the offset because they were coming straight out over the drain. So we couldn't add the T. So I just kind of put them offset. Just like that. Not too bad. <laughs> The most common question you just said. Say it yeah. again. The most common question I get is, hey, I have about $10,000 to spend, right? Connor with D&D Service and Sales here. Volusia County's number one used car dealer. Uh, anyway, most common question I get, I've got about 10 grand to spend, you know, oh, I want a, a little van or an SUV. And I always ask them, okay, well, you know, for 10 grand, if I called you and said, hey, I got a 2015, or an SUV, not a van, but I got a 2015 with 100, let's say, 50,000 miles, you're gonna be happy. And they always say, no, I want something with under 100,000 miles. And it's just not reasonable. It's not making sense. I don't know if it's inflation blues that people have just not been in the market, right? I mean, I'd say that's pretty reasonable. If you haven't been in the car market, you don't know how bad it really is. But for a lot of people, they think 10 grand, that's a lot of fucking money. I should, yeah, it is, Connor. I should get a lot more car for 10 grand, but the reality that's is- more than a tax return check. Yeah, it's way more, just got. way more. But the reality is in today's market, <laughs> Biden <laughs> inflation, you know. Let's try to keep it not ap apolitical. Okay, apolitical. Inflation is through the roof on specifically used cars, sub $15,000. Just like it is with milk and eggs and bread. Yeah, fact of life is that that is what people can afford to get a payment on. So that's what popular, that's what made the budget popular. You know, people want to spend about $350 a month on a car, right? And to spend $350 a month on a car, you got to spend about $15 less than 15 grand. You got back to tax tag title. Most people want to put two to three grand down. It's just not happening out there, guys. It's hard, not easy. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to help this customer out of turn off the phone with, but we're gonna try. We're definitely gonna try. 